Riddles and brain teasers are the simplest type of quiz videos you can create if you run a quiz channel or are about to start one. And the interesting thing about the quiz niche is that topics that seem to have died off and forgotten for years can become trending again if paired with a better thumbnail. If you've been in this niche for a while, you may know that riddle quizzes usually get millions of views with low quality thumbnail designs, as you can see on this channel. In fact, it works so well for them that most of their videos are all about riddles and they still pull in over half a million views per month. They seem to have a monopoly on it while everyone else is chasing other topics. Until recently when I started noticing more channels creating riddle quizzes. They are recreating the same riddles with better clickable thumbnails and it is working for them. This small channel even gets 5.4 million views on their very first upload, which is about riddles, and the video isn't anything too fancy. It doesn't even have a voiceover. The reason for this is that there will always be viewers who want to watch riddles and brain teasers, and that viewer base is increasing more than ever. So, in this video, I will show you a simple way to create these types of quiz videos, along with a clickable thumbnail design. Open ChatGPT, and give it this prompt. You can input a bigger number than 20 in column A to create longer videos. I will leave this prompt in the description below for you, and when you try it, ChatGPT will return riddles with four different levels like this. So go to Canva and switch to the Videos tab. Click on the first option, which is Landscape, to start creating the video. Go to the Elements tab and search for Spiral Background. Switch to the Videos section and click on one of the results. We can go for the blue color. So. Right-click on it and set it as the background. Looking at popular videos, we need each scene to be less than 20 seconds, so I will trim this to around 19.5 seconds. Next, add a rectangle by clicking on letter R on your keyboard. Change the color to black at the top. Click on the icon beside it to add a border to the rectangle and increase the weight to 8. We can't see the border yet, so change the stroke color to yellow to make it visible. This is for the header. So hold the Alt key on your keyboard and drag the sides outward to make the width 1,245 pixels. Repeat the same for the other side to make the height 120 pixels. Click on the corner rounding icon and increase it all the way up to 100. Add a text paragraph with the letter T, then click on the font library to search for Gordita font. Click on it, then click on the arrow toggle to choose the bold weight. Type a header in it, which in this case is Brain Teaser and Riddle Quiz. Click on the AA icon to make it uppercase, then change the font size to 48. Drag the text to the middle of the background and highlight to group them together and move them to the top. Now we need to duplicate the group for the levels, so click on the plus icon and drag it down. Ungroup it and type Medium in it. Decrease the font size to 36, then shrink the text area by holding the Alt key and dragging the handle inward. Click on the background, hold the Alt key, and drag it inward to reduce the width to 304. Drag the text to the middle and make it aligned with the background. Highlight both of the objects and place them at the upper right corner. Next, add a circle with the letter C on your keyboard. Change the color to black at the top. Add a border to it by increasing the stroke to 8. Change the stroke color to yellow to match the other headers. Hold Alt and scale the circle down from the corner to around 150 pixels. Duplicate the medium text for the circle and type Figure 1 in it. Increase the font size to 64 and place it in the middle of the circle. Reduce the text area, highlight them, and place them at the top left. Reposition the header to the center and align the level container with it as well. Add a text box with the letter T, change the color to white, then change the font to the same Gordita we've been using. Choose the bold weight from the options, then increase the font to 64. Go back to ChatGPT and copy one of the riddles as a placeholder. Paste it in the new text box and decrease the text area by holding the Alt key and dragging the handle inward. Place it around the center to leave room for the other elements. Click on Effects at the top to add a shadow effect on it. Change the direction of the shadow to 0, increase the transparency to 100, and change the color to black. One more thing you need to do for the riddles is to go to the advanced settings at the top and change the anchor text box to middle. This will make every text fall in the right space as intended. Next, duplicate the medium background and drag it downward. Hold Alt and drag the handle outward to increase the width to around 800. Repeat the same for the height till it is around 170. 
we can apply some contrast to the design by flipping the colors of this box. So, change the stroke color to black and the main color to yellow. Click on medium and duplicate it. Drag it downward and change the color to black. Go to ChatGPT again and copy an answer. Paste it in the text box and increase the font size to 64. Increase the text area to give room for longer texts from the answers we have. I think I should remove the uppercase toggle on the font which seems to look better. I will also change the figure color to yellow to make it a bit different. The next step is to add the progress bar, so look for a loading bar from the videos tab and click on one of them. It appears underneath other elements, so I will right click on it, go to layer, and bring it to the front. Hold the Alt key and drag the handle inward to crop and show the loading bar only. Repeat the same for the other side and go to the corner rounding to increase it to 100. Drag it downward and place it on the answer box, then scale it down a bit. Highlight both the loading bar and the answer container together, then drag them downward a bit more. The next thing is the timing. We can leave the header as they are, then click on the zoom icon at the bottom to zoom in on the timeline. Drag the playhead to 0.8 second, click on the riddle text, and trim it to meet the line. Click on the loading bar and trim it to the right till it becomes 10.5 seconds. Drag the playhead to 3 seconds and shift the loading bar to meet it. Shift the playhead to the end of the loading bar, then go to the Layers tab under Position. Move the answer container together and place them above the loading bar. Then trim the answer text and background one by one to meet the line at the end of the loading bar. This means the answer will appear as soon as the loading bar disappears. The next step is to add the animations. So click on the riddle text, then go to Animate at the top, and choose Succession. Leave it at the default value, then click on the loading bar, and choose the Rise animation for it. Leave it on both and reverse the exit animation. Click on the answer background, choose Baseline animation for it, and leave it on Enter. Click on the answer text, choose the Burst animation, and leave it on Enter as well. The next step is the sound effect, so search for Cork Pop on the Audio tab on the left. Drag the playhead to the start of the riddle text, which is 0.8 seconds, and click on Cork Pop 1. Drag the playhead to the start of the loading bar, then search for Egg Timer on the Audio tab, and click on the first result. This is longer than the loading bar, so trim it to meet the end of the bar. The volume of this sound is usually low, so increase the volume at the top to around 300. We can also make it fade in for about 4 seconds. Next, search for Marimba Ascend on the Audio tab again. Shift the playhead to the start of the answer text and choose Marimba Ascend 4. Then we can see how it looks. That sounds okay, but we need to bulk create the audio. So highlight all the elements with Ctrl plus A and delete them. Then download the video as an MP4 to your computer. Press Ctrl plus Z to undo the deletion and drag the downloaded video back to Canva. Click on the audio one after the other and delete them. Look for the video you just uploaded on the Uploads tab under Videos, then click on it to show it on the canvas. Right click on it and set it to replace the background. This will make the audio appear throughout the video scenes after we create them in bulk. The next step is bulk create. So go back to ChatGPT and copy the table from the header to the last line. Go back to Canva and look for bulk create in the apps library. Click on the first result and on the pop-up window, click to enter your data manually. Clear the table and paste the data in the first block. Then click on Done. Click on the figure, connect data and choose number. Click on Medium, Connect Data, and choose Level. Click on the middle text, Connect Data, and choose Riddle. Move the playhead to the Answer position. Click on the Answer text, Connect Data, and choose Answer. Click on Continue, and generate the 20 designs. It will generate them in seconds, and you can click on the pop-up button to look at them. The first thing I like to do is to add a transition between the scenes. I will choose Color Wipe, change the direction to Southwest, and pick different colors for the wipe colors. When you are done with that, click on the button at the bottom to apply the transition between all the pages. To see how the scenes look, you can click on this icon at the bottom to see the grid view. You can see that they all look good and fall in place including the long text. That is possible because of the anchor settings we set to the center earlier.
The next step is the voiceover, so give ChatGPT another prompt like this. I will also leave this prompt in the description below for you to copy and use. When it's done, highlight all the text and copy them. Go to 11 Labs and paste it there. Choose a voice you like to use, and I will go for Liam here. Click on Generate and listen to it. What has to be broken before you can use it? An egg. You've got to crack it open before breakfast begins. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? It sounds good, so download it to your computer as an MP3 file. Go back to Canva and upload it to the Audio tab. To sync it with the video, drag the playhead to the start where the riddle has appeared, then click on the audio. You need to play it with your space key to know where to split it. So after the question has been asked, right-click on the audio and split it, then drag the remaining one forward. Shift your playhead to the answer position where the answer has appeared. Then drag the audio there and click on play to know where to split. An egg. You've got to crack it open before breakfast begins. So after the answer has been narrated, right-click and split again, then move the remaining part forward to the second scene. Once again, drag the playhead to the start of the second scene where the riddle has appeared, and play the video to know where to split. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? After you've listened to the question being asked, right-click on the audio and split it again, then drag the remaining one forward. Drag the audio to the answer position where the answer has appeared, then click on play to know where to split. A candle, burning away slowly, just like time itself. If it sounds good and syncs together the way you want, right-click and split the audio again. So I think you get the gist. You simply need to repeat it for the other scenes. Place the riddle audio where the riddle text appears, and the answer audio where the answer text appears. To spice it up a bit, you can search for Fireball Pass on the Audio tab for the transitions. Go to the end of the first scene, click on it for the playhead to appear, then click on Fireball Pass by Whoosh 3, reduce the volume to 20 at the top, then right-click to copy it. Go to the end of scene 2 and paste it there. Repeat the same for scene 3 as well as others till the end. We are through with the main video, so I will download and show you how it looks, but don't go yet, as I will show you how to design the clickable thumbnail and where to get premium templates for your quiz channel. What has to be broken before you can use it? An egg. You've got to crack it open before breakfast begins. I'm tall when I'm young, and I'm short when I'm old. What am I? A candle, burning away slowly, just like time itself. What has hands but can't clap? Clock, always ticking, but never applauding. What has many keys but can't open a single lock? A piano. It unlocks music, not doors. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Footsteps. Every step forward leaves a trail of where you've been. What can travel around the world while staying in the same corner? A stamp. Sticking to the envelope and still seeing the world. If you want to create quiz videos faster and easier, we have a quiz template bundle you can get at a very affordable price. You can check them out by clicking on the first link in the description below. We included video tutorials, AI prompts, and clickable thumbnails for each of the templates so you can follow along easily. You will find the template we just created in this video, as well as 32 other templates across 25 quiz series. You will get all the popular quiz templates to create your videos, including the new mathematics quiz, 
guess the logo sound, choose one dish, would you rather, pick a finger down, and many more. We also have shorts templates, and you will see an alternative version for some of the templates. For instance, the riddle quiz we created together in this video has another version with a picture and a chalkboard text. You will get access to it, as well as all the bonuses such as the thumbnail pack to speed up your video creation. So if you want to grow your quiz channel faster, click on the first link in the description below or in the pinned comment to get access now. To create the thumbnail, click on the plus icon here and type in thumbnail. Click on the first result to create a new design. Go to the Elements tab and search for Spiral Background, switch to Graphics, and click on one of the results. Right-click on it and set it as a background. Add a rectangle with the letter R and change the color to a bright red. Increase the width to fill the canvas and reduce the height to around 170 pixels. Drag it to the top, then duplicate it. Change the color of the duplicate to a darker red using the Freeform Color Selection. Go to the Layers tab and align it to the center. Use your up arrow key to move it up a bit, but make sure it's still visible underneath the main rectangle. Add another rectangle and increase the width to around 1200 pixels. Drag out the height on both sides till it is around 500 pixels. Change the color to white and increase the corner rounding to somewhere around 45. Add a text box with the letter T and make it all caps at the top. Change the font to a clean one like Garrett by searching for it in the font library and make it a bold one. Add in a text like this that says, say my name and I disappear, what am I? Increase the font to 80, and I think we should make the weight extra bold. To apply some contrast, you can highlight some words like these and change their color to the dark red as the rectangle above. You can do this for three to four words. The spacing looks far apart, so go to the advanced settings and reduce the line spacing to 1.25, then align it to the middle. Add another text for the top and change the font to Poppins. Replace it with the number of riddles you have in your video, such as 20 riddles. Drag it up and reduce the text area. We can increase the font again to 96. Change the color to white and highlight the number to change the color to yellow. We need an effect for this text, so add a shadow effect and change it to black. Increase the transparency to 100 and increase the blur to 35. Play with the direction as well and make the offset 35. Lastly, find a brain graphic on the Elements tab and pick one of the results. Scale it down, then place it on the left. Duplicate it and place it on the right. And I think we still have some room to increase the font to 104. And with this, we are done with the thumbnail design. There are some crucial parts of creating quiz videos like this that I didn't touch in this video, such as creating a good intro and outro, idea research and generation, and many more. That's because I've covered them in this quiz channel masterclass showing up on your screen right now, so click on it to watch it. If you learn one or two things from this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Digital Sculler. Drop your comment below and thank you for watching.